to borrow a phrase from the old TV show X-Files, the truth is out there. Well, people in the Navajo Nation have been trying to figure out what crash landed in the high desert. A Navajo Tribal Council delegate shared a picture of what looks like a satellite sitting behind his house. Team 12's William Pitts went to find out what it really is. The whole Roswell UFO incident started with one guy in the middle of nowhere who found something weird. Tully Begay found something weird in the high desert on Wednesday. Spaceship or satellite. Sitting right behind Tully Begay's house, his grandson watched it land. This thing came to a landing far from pretty much anything, in between the towns of Kayenta and Denihatso on the Navajo reservation. People were calling me, they were asking me what was going on at the house. A bunch of solar panels, some electronic hardware, looking very much out of this world. Uh, parachute, parachute, there's an orange parachute that was... It came down with it. Navajo Council Delegate Nate Brown shared the photo, joking that if it was aliens, they should bring a COVID vaccine with them. They should bring a COVID vaccine with them. <laughs> but the most likely explanation is probably a lot more boring and does not include a cure for COVID. It's probably a weather balloon, just like the UFO at Roswell, but this time from Google. Google has been launching weather balloons with little miniature cell towers attached to them. It's called Project Loon. It's called Project Loon. But the further away from these towns and cities you go, the fewer people there are, until eventually, connectivity just stops. To bring the internet to people in these areas, we need to look up, way up, into the stratosphere. From here, we can provide connectivity across much larger areas, bringing the benefits of the internet to more people. So how do we get there? With balloons. Really big balloons. Beginning their journey from one of our custom-built balloon launchers, our balloons are filled with lighter-than-air gas and released up into the skies. Rising 20 kilometers into the stratosphere, loon balloons float twice as high as airplanes, well above weather and wildlife. To get to where they need to go, loon balloons sail the winds by moving up or down into different wind currents traveling in different directions joining other balloons in small teams over areas where connectivity is needed. Ground stations connected to local internet service providers send signal up to the balloons and then back down to the ground over large distances, allowing people to connect directly to the internet with an LTE mobile phone. When it is eventually time for our balloons to come down, we navigate them to remote areas and work with local air traffic control to manage their slow descent down to Earth where they're collected by our recovery teams. By repeating this process at scale, we hope to provide continued connectivity to users on the ground, bringing the internet to more people in more places around the world. They hope to bring internet access to remote areas of the world. The balloons can stay up for about a year. The balloons can stay up for about a year. And carry a payload that looks an awful lot like what dropped near Tully Begay's house. There's even flight tracking data on those balloons. This one started off in Nevada, then crossed the country, went to the Caribbean, then finally popped up again off the coast of California and landed on the Navajo Reservation, right by Cayenta. So not little green men from Mars, probably more like little IT guys from Google and an out of this world story on the reservation. We tried reaching out to Project Loon to see if what crashed was really part of their program. They have not responded. William Bitts, 12 News. All right, Lindsay, I don't care what it is. Anything falling from the sky is a problem for me. Yeah, I, but that is kind of cool. Think about that. A balloon staying in the air for a year? Mm -hmm. That's pretty wild. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God! 